Hello, Fact Fusion fans. Today, we're diving into a topic that has intrigued and mystified people for generations, alien encounters. Have you ever wondered if we are alone in the universe? Or if those strange lights in the sky are more than just planes or stars? Well, get ready, because we're going to explore the fascinating world of UFO sightings, government investigations, and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. We'll delve into some famous cases, examine the scientific perspectives, and see what the experts have to say about this enigmatic phenomenon, the history of UFO sightings. Our journey begins in the 1940s, a time when reports of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, started to capture public attention. One of the most famous incidents occurred in 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. A rancher named Mac Brazel found mysterious debris on his property, which included metal strips and strange fabric. The U.S. military initially claimed it was a flying disc, fueling speculation about extraterrestrial origins. However, the military soon changed its story, stating it was a weather balloon. This contradiction sparked widespread speculation and is still a hot topic among UFO enthusiasts today. But Roswell was just the beginning. Over the years, thousands of people around the world have reported seeing strange objects in the sky. These sightings range from bright lights moving at incredible speeds to saucer-shaped crafts hovering silently. Some witnesses even claim to have had direct encounters with alien beings. For example, in 1952, Washington, D.C. experienced a wave of sightings where radar operators and pilots reported seeing multiple UFOs flying in restricted airspace. While skeptics often dismiss these reports as hoaxes or misidentifications, the sheer number of sightings suggests there might be something more to the story. Government Investigations You might be surprised to learn that governments around the world have taken UFO sightings seriously. In the United States, the most well-known investigation was Project Blue Book, conducted by the Air Force from 1952 to 1969. This project aimed to determine if UFOs were a threat to national security. They investigated over 12,000 reports, and while most were explained as natural phenomena or man-made objects, 701 cases remained unidentified. The findings of Project Blue Book were mixed, concluding that UFOs posed no threat, yet some unexplained cases still piqued curiosity. More recently, the U.S. government has acknowledged the existence of a program called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AAP. This secretive program, which ran from 2007 to 2012, studied military encounters with unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs. In 2020, the Department of Defense even released videos taken by Navy pilots showing mysterious objects exhibiting flight characteristics beyond our current technology. These videos, known as the Gimbal, Go Fast, and FLIR-1 clips, have sparked renewed interest and debate about the true nature of these phenomena. Other countries, including the United Kingdom, France, and Russia, have also conducted their own UFO investigations. In the UK, the Ministry of Defense ran the Flying Saucer Working Party, and later, the Defense Intelligence Staff to investigate sightings. France established JIPAN, a unit dedicated to studying UFO reports. These efforts highlight that the curiosity and concern about UFOs are not limited to the general public, but are shared by governments and military organizations worldwide. Famous Alien Encounter Stories Let's dive into some of the most famous alien encounter stories that have captured the public's imagination. One such story is the alleged abduction of Betty and Barney Hill in 1961. The Hills claimed they were taken aboard a spacecraft and examined by extraterrestrial beings. They described the aliens as having large heads, slanted eyes, and gray skin. Their story was one of the first well-documented cases of alien abduction and inspired many others to come forward with similar experiences. The details of their account were obtained through hypnosis, adding a layer of mystery and controversy to their story. Another intriguing case is the Rendlesham Forest incident in 1980. U.S. military personnel stationed at RAF Woodbridge, a base in the United Kingdom, reported seeing strange lights in the forest. When they investigated, they encountered a metallic object with hieroglyphic-like markings. The servicemen also reported experiencing time distortions and radio malfunctions. This incident is often referred to as Britain's Roswell and remains unexplained. 
The official report concluded that the lights were likely caused by a nearby lighthouse, but those who were present insist they encountered something otherworldly. In 1997, thousands of people in Phoenix, Arizona, witnessed a series of mysterious lights in the night sky. Known as the Phoenix Lights, this event is one of the most widely seen UFO sightings in history. The lights were described as forming a V-shaped formation that moved slowly and silently across the sky. Despite official explanations attributing the lights to military flares, many witnesses insist they saw something extraordinary. The event has been the subject of numerous documentaries and continues to be a point of fascination for UFO researchers. Scientific Perspectives on Alien Life While UFO sightings and alien encounter stories are fascinating, what does science have to say about the possibility of extraterrestrial life? Many scientists believe that given the vastness of the universe, it is statistically likely that life exists elsewhere. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has increased the possibility of finding habitable worlds. As of now, thousands of exoplanets have been discovered, some of which reside in the habitable zone where conditions might be right for life. Projects like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, are actively scanning the skies for signals from advanced civilizations. Using powerful radio telescopes, scientists listen for patterns that could indicate intelligent communication. Although we haven't found conclusive evidence yet, the search continues. Additionally, missions to Mars, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, and Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, aim to uncover signs of past or present microbial life. These missions seek to find biosignatures, chemical indicators of life, in the soil, ice, and water. Scientists also explore the concept of the Great Filter, a theory suggesting that at some point in the development of life, there is a barrier that is difficult to overcome. This could explain why we haven't yet encountered extraterrestrial civilizations. The Great Filter could be an event or process that prevents life from evolving to a stage where it can communicate across interstellar distances. Whether we have already passed this filter or it lies ahead remains an open question. If it lies in our future, it suggests that many civilizations may self-destruct before they achieve advanced space travel. Fact or fiction? So are alien encounters fact or fiction? While there is no definitive proof that aliens have visited Earth, the numerous reports and government investigations keep the question alive. The vastness of the universe and the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life suggests that we should keep an open mind. Whether you believe in alien encounters or not, the mystery continues to capture our imaginations and inspire us to look to the stars. The truth is out there, and as our technology and understanding of the universe advance, we may one day uncover the answers to these age-old questions. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Fact Fusion, and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.